This short Pilates workout will link together moves to build up to an intermediate exercise, swimming. I'm Tucker, a certified Pilates instructor. Welcome to McCrazy Fit. And we'll start right here. I'm on my knees, sitting or standing is fine as well. Hands down at the sides. Exhale to shrug the shoulders up and down, keeping that core tight. Belly's tight, abs engaged, up and down. What I want to feel as the shoulders come down, I want to feel a little bit of tension in the rear uh, armpit and the upper lat, bringing the shoulders down and keeping them back, keeping them from hunching over. A little bit of tension in the muscles right on the side of the spine, up and down, and just feeling this movement here. We'll begin with these healthy scapular biomechanic exercises. Now hands straight out in front. Squeeze the shoulder blades and back. And squeeze the shoulder blades together and back. Also called scapular isolation movements. And throughout this entire workout, I'm keeping the belly tight. Practicing the posterior lateral breathing, where I'm keeping the belly tight, not inhaling into the chest or the belly, but I'm inhaling, imagining the side ribs expanding and back with the breath, rather than filling up the belly and the chest. One more, squeezing together. Now let's keep the arms there, and they race straight overhead and back down. And straight overhead again, back down, and I'm letting the shoulder naturally glide up so as the arms come up overhead, I'm not squeezing the shoulder down. Also not raising it up, but just letting the natural movement. You can see as my arm raises, the shoulder muscle naturally raises as it rotates in the socket. And down. So being mindful to not squeeze the shoulders down as the arms raise, but allowing them to naturally glide up. And return to start and still feeling that little bit of tension in the Rear armpit and the lat as the arms come back down, keeping the shoulders back. And one more. And straight on to all fours. And again with the scapular isolation, so I'm standing strong. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And squeeze the shoulder blades and back to start. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And back a few more. And back to start, going down to the legs now, extending the leg and using the glute to raise that leg up. And down, tap, and up. Keeping the leg straight, toe pointed. And really engaging this glute muscle and not anteriorly tilting at the top here or bending the leg to engage in the hamstring. So you can see when I'm just using the glute leg straight, only coming right up about to this height. I could tilt, anteriorly tilt, bend the knee and get a little higher, but we're just isolating the glute as much as possible, only able to come up to about this height, again, without overarching. Two more. Belly's tight. And in, other leg, out straight, exhale, squeezing the glute. Still keeping that belly tight, pulling it up and away from the mat. Inhale down, exhale up. Just coming up to the height where I'm still engaging the glute without arching, without bringing the hamstring into it. And that's the exact feeling we're going for when we get down onto our belly and get closer to this swimming exercise. Two more. And and then let's come all the way down. And as I'm laying here, I'm pulling the abdominals up towards the spine, up and in, keeping my thighs engaged, so a little bit of flex in the thighs, lifting the knees up off the mat. I'm also imagining slightly pressing my hips into the mat throughout these exercises. I don't want to anteriorly tilt again as I'm coming up with the legs or up with the body. Don't want to overarch the back, so I'm 
almost pressing the hip bones in the mat. Not very hard, but just kind of getting that, that feeling of slight posterior tilt with the pelvis. And we're going to start with the legs. So again, just squeezing the glute. So firing the quads, squeezing the glute, lift that leg off the mat and back down and exhale. Other one comes up and down and continuing that. Exhale up, squeeze the glute and down. Now we can also be resting head on the hands up here. I'm just going to keep my head up so I can talk. And we're not bending the knee, trying not to engage the hamstring, all glute here. So legs are straight, thinking about the foot being pulled down and away as it comes up. Two more. And only need to come up about four or five inches off the ground with the foot. And rest. And now let's move to the upper body. So head will be just slightly floating above the mat. And head straight down looking at the mat, but I am have my head to the side to see you. We'll exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the head and upper trunk off the mat. And inhale down. Again, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. And down. Let's do a few more of those. Still imagining pulling the abdomen, the abdominals in towards the spine and up. Hips just slightly pressing into the mat. I don't want to arch. Anteriorly, pelt, uh, anteriorly tilt as I'm coming up. And exhale up. Inhale down. A little bit of energy in the back of the arms. Back of the armpit. Keep the most shoulders back, down away from the ears. Don't let them glide up. Two more. And rest. Let's press back in the child's pose. Get a little bit. Tension out of the lower back. Feet can be wide apart or close together. And back to start. And again, belly's tight. Very slight posterior pelvic tilt to keep me from arching out like that. This time we're bringing the arms overhead and allowing the shoulders to naturally glide up as from before. So arms are up here, I'm not pulling them down. And this time everything will come up. So inhale, belly's tight, pulling the abdominals in towards the spine. Exhale, everything up and down. Exhale, everything up and down. Great, few more of those. Legs are tight. And this time I'm thinking of someone pull my arms up and my feet down as I'm coming up. Keeping those legs straight, only engaging the glute. Not overarching the back. All the movement is coming from the thoracic extension. You could consider at the middle of the back. Shoulder flexion and hip extension. Lumbar spine is staying stable. Two more. And rest, and this time let's just bring the feet up and gently let them fall side to side. Getting a lot of work in the hip extensors, the glute, and all those muscles running along the side of the spine. Spinal extensors. And back to start. So now we'll move into swimming. Belly's tight, pulling the belly away. Inhale, exhale, everything comes up. Right arm, left leg tap. And then left arm, right leg tap. So alternating arm and leg. And we're continuing that. Breathing at a comfortable pace. Someone's pulling up on the arms, pulling down on the legs. Legs are straight. Only the glutes engaged. Shoulders keeping them, those hands up. Shoulders are working. Still breathing, pulling the belly in and away from the mat. 
And let's go five, four, three, two, one, and down. And let's come back into child's pose again. And one modification. I'm going to be speeding up the tempo. And as I speed it up, I'm not making bigger movements. If anything, my movements are a little bit smaller. So belly's tight. And it, some people could find a little more comfort in keeping the feet wider as well when doing these movements on the stomach. Belly's tight. Exhale. Everything comes up. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And let's get going faster. Breathing at a comfortable pace. Leg straight, arm straight. Pulling the abdomen, abdomen in. Keeping the belly tight, not overextending the lower back. And five. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Everything down. And Let's do a little different stretch to relieve any tension in the lower back, this time up on all fours. And it'll be a posterior pelvic tilt. So I'm not going to a big cat stretch, but just the posterior pelvic tilt, just this lumbar spine flexion. Get a few of those in. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the workouts. And I'll link my entire Pilates how-to guide. It's only getting bigger. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you at the next workout.